after all this. Where's the pet colonizer? Don't call him that. Fine, your unseasoned semen demon. Where are you at? He's shopping! What, ran out of mayo? Uh, I'm joking! Go through. There's someone who's excited to meet oh you. Oh my gosh, he's so cute! Isn't he just? Oh, you haven't met me yet? Do you know what I'm saying? He doesn't understand Chinese. Bro, he's like two months old. He doesn't even understand English. Hey, you know, my book is a joke. I'm not sure. Hey, sure. Fair for I can eat on Hala. Oh, he's so precious. I can just see the future mental health issues in his cute little way. Okay, that's enough, Auntie Fair Fair, for one day. This is some ping yard, you know. It's a very nice area. It's a very fat trek. Do you know how long it took me to get here? It's a good place to raise a kid. Mmm. Good scores, yeah. So, how have you been? Where are you living at the moment? Oh, still with Lauren. Oh. So... No, no, Jen, Jen, it's, we're, we're not like back together, it's... It's fine. Oh, I just thought that maybe... Uh, <laughs> forget it. You got a job yet? Restaurants are opening back up. You should go back to Jade Palace. Jade Garden. Jade Palace, Jade Garden, you know what I meant. Why don't you go back and work there? Jen, Jade Garden's gone. What? Why? A Chinese restaurant shutting down during the China virus pandemic. I wonder why. Oh. Did you not hear about that Singaporean guy getting beat up on Oxford Street? Or was it in The Guardian? Well... Still, you should keep looking. I'm trying. You're very employable, you know? You speak such good Chinese. Yeah, me and like a billion other people. Yeah, and are they any good at English? <laughs> Jen, there's like a million Chinese people to speak good English. But you are English. And you study English lit, for God's sake! I mean, did study. You should really go back to uni. A degree would look so good on you. Mm. Look, so many Chinese kids who grew up here can't even say ni hao properly. You literally use proverbs in every other sentence. You're the smartest person I know. You'd be set for life. You, you could get a job in translation, in finance translation. Jen, one of us already sold our souls to capitalism. You really think our ancestors want that for both of us? Our ancestors wouldn't want you to be a uni dropout with a ketamine addiction. Not addicted. Look, Fei Fei, you speak Chinese, you're half white, and you're still a boy. What? You haven't started hormones yet, right? Can't you just hold off a bit? <laughs> Look, why Paul's ninety this year? She wouldn't want you chopping bits off yourself, and nor would Mum. Just. Be your old self around her for a bit, and when you're applying for jobs, you can use your boy name and- Dead name! Okay, sorry. Dead name. Jen, do you think this is a phase? You managed not being a girl for 20 years. I'm sure you could survive presenting as a boy once in a while. Look, wasn't this your plan all along? Were you just not going to tell them? I can just say that I made a mistake and that everything's fine. I don't know if that's gonna work, you know. Why? Look. What's this? It's a message from Waipua. What does it say? Read it. You know I can barely read Chinese anymore. Try. Okay, what does that bit say? Bian Xing Shi Fei Fan Tian Ming, the Xie Er Jin Yan. What does that mean? 
Transsexualism is a wicked sin that violates the natural order, Jennifer. Is there anything I can do? Come meet them with me. <gasps> Fefe, I've thought about this and I just don't think it's a good idea. Jen, please. She's been spamming me with these, like, every day. She's saying that she's hurt and that she's upset and that she's heartbroken and she hasn't slept. Like, she literally said that she is going to try and convince me that this isn't the right path. She's going to try and save me even if it kills her. Jen! Like at least with mum, I've got time. It's calm, but why pause ninety? I don't how I don't know how long I. Tell them yourself. I, I can't. It's your conversation to have. Coming out to them was my conversation to have, but you took that from me. Next time, tell me when mum doesn't know something. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. You're right. You're, you're, you're so right, Jen. Next time, I will definitely let you know. Next time, when I decide to come out as a fucking furry, what next time? Okay. okay I get it. You're angry, but Faye, we're Chinese. It's your responsibility as a yeah, daughter yeah, to. You're so Chinese. That's why you only date white guys of an Asian face. Isn't it? My husband out of it. Oh, up to it, bitch. Trust me. I'm trying. This is kind of hard when you keep leaving bits of him in you. You know, Fei Fei, if you want the world to believe you're a woman, maybe start acting like one. Wow, not gatekeeping womanhood. <laughs> like you'd know anything about it. Not like you lived through it. But you really think I was living as a fucking boy? I don't have time for this. None of this is my fault. Yeah, I is. have a family to look after. I'm your family too. <laughs> don't! Yeah. Don't! You always do this. You just expect me to fix things between you and mum and why, poor God. You haven't changed one bit. You're always the same, aren't you, Felix? Don't call me that. Then maybe stop acting like him, Fei-Fei. Well, why don't you stop acting like a cunt, cunt? You haven't changed one bit. You're still the same selfish, irresponsible, disrespectful little boy you always have been. Oh, and you'd know, yeah. Because you were always there for me, innit? You think I wasn't there for you? All of the times that I defended you in front of mum, every hour I spent convincing her not to disown you after you came to that Chinatown dinner and took Ket in the toilets? You know, Uncle Yumeng still thinks we should call an exorcist for you. Go on. Say that again. Louder. Or maybe in English, so you can actually understand it. Oi, swear you lived in China until year two. What happened? Or that white dick fucked the Chinese out of you? You should count your blessings, Mum remarried. You wouldn't have lasted a day with my father. <laughs> That's what all of this is about, isn't it? The reason you have this weird complex about white men. Because you are one. Shut the fuck up! Oh, here we go, the temper tantrums. Go on, show the world what you really are. A privileged little white boy who never got disciplined, and so you overcompensate with this, oh, I'm not whitewashed bullshit. You do know you'll never actually be Chinese. It doesn't matter how well you speak it, there are just some things that you will never, ever know. God, you had it all. The perfect little mixed race prince that mum always wanted. Her and Waipo just let you run around every weekend getting high whilst I was at home looking after our family. She didn't even scold you when you fucked up your GCSEs. And the way that Waipo dotes on you tells anyone who will listen what a perfect amazing child you are when I was the one who moved back after university to look after her after her operation. But does she ever talk about that? Of course not. That's just expected of girls. You have it so fucking easy. The world just lets boys be mediocre. And now you want to be a girl? You had it all. All the privilege, all the love, and you wasted every last bit of it. You couldn't even finish university for them. Oh no, but they didn't care, just as long as they had their precious baby boy. Now you can't even be that. Are you... Jealous? Babe. 
I wanted to be you. You said that mum wasn't strict with me because she loved me. Jen, she wasn't as strict with me because she, she stopped trying. She didn't need to. She had you. You know, she always used to compare me to you. And then all the other eyes as well, they would hold you up as this perfect girl. Ayya, you should be more like your sister. Don't you think I don't know? I was so jealous of everything. I was so jealous of everything. The way you did your hair in those braids. That purple eyeshadow you always used to wear. Your clothes. And like, it wasn't just your clothes. It was the fit, the silhouette. Like, do you remember those like really loose oversized tank tops you used to wear that came down to like here? And they would look so good on you because, you know, the way they'd like drape a bit over your tits and then come down and leave that space at the front. What? See what I mean? You never even noticed any of that. That's the shit that I was jealous of. You never even noticed any of it because you were born with it. Because you were born a girl. Do you remember how I used to practice scales in your room? I practiced them too. I remember how you practically ate those high notes like it was nothing. Every time I heard you sing, it reminded me of everything that I'm not. Everything that I can never be. Everything I could never be. I wish I could be you so fucking bad. Fei Fei. Bitch, you had everything. You could sing, you could dance, you could play piano, you were pretty. You could have been the Chinese, Beyonce, FK, Twigs, Charlie XCX, all rolled into one. And you gave up. For what? For this? Fucking tray bakes and mimosas in Wimbledon? You want to talk about privilege, yeah? You had the privilege to choose to be whoever you wanted to be. And you chose to be the stereotype. I didn't have a choice. You think being trans is a choice? That's the difference between you and me, Zhang Ziyin. Bu 能够适应你的环境不管你妈妈外婆移民舅舅他妈JK going to regret this Bitch, I'm not the one of regrets I don't regret growing up Fei Fei This is me growing up Jennifer Transitioning was the first thing in my life I ever did for myself. You really think I'm going to regret that? I just don't get why you're making life so hard for yourself. It doesn't matter how you see yourself. It... The world won't see you like that, Fei Fei. You're never going to be Chinese and you're never going to be a girl. So why are you trying so hard? You? And your little mixed race prints are never gonna be white. So why are you trying so hard? I 
think you should leave. I'll leave you to tend to your cute little bundle of internalized racism and yellow f- Shit! <coughs> the difference between you and me, Junior. I would rather live loud and unapologetic and be hated for it than exist quietly, keep my head down, fall in line, and still end up being hated.